This is the Narita Express, an express train running from Narita Airport to Tokyo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from Narita Airport to Tokyo Station using this Narita Express. And I'm going to show you step by step how to buy a ticket at a vending machine so that you can avoid the lights at the ticket counters. that Narita is one of the two main airports of Tokyo but it's not located within Tokyo it's located in Chiba prefecture quite far from Tokyo about 68 kilometers from Tokyo station Narita airport has three terminals all three terminals have bus stations but only Terminal 1 and 2 have train stations. So if you're coming through Terminal 3 and want to take the train to Tokyo, you can walk or take the airport free shuttle bus to Terminal 2 and use the train station there. There are two express trains from Narita Airport to Tokyo Center. The Narita Express operated by Japan Railways Group and the Skyliner operated by Keisei Group. If you don't have the JR Pass and you're heading to Ueno, Nippori or Ikebukuro, the Skyliner may be the best way for you. Comparing to the Narita Express, the Keisei Skyliner is a lot faster, only 41 minutes from Narita Airport Terminal 1 to Nippuri Station in Tokyo, when the Narita Express takes 84 minutes, more than double the time. It's also cheaper and more convenient since you don't have to switch trains. If you have the JR Pass, you should definitely take the Narita Express since it's fully covered by the JR Pass. So you don't need to buy extra ticket for it. Even when you don't have the JR Pass, but your destination is either Tokyo Station or Shibuya, Shinagawa or Shinjuku. The Narita Express is a good option because it takes you straight to those stations fast and convenient with no need to switch trains. How to take the Narita Express? After you get out of airport custom check, you should immediately see very clear signboards in front of you. And the setup is quite similar in all terminals. On the same floor, you can find information of trains and buses going to Tokyo as well as other locations. To get to the train station, you need to go down to basement 1. You can take the elevator or escalator. For escalators in Tokyo, we stand on the left whereas in Osaka you are supposed to stand on the right hand side. This is how you get to the train station in Terminal 2. The access is the same in Terminal 1, where the train stations are also on the first basement, B1. When you get to basement 1, you'll find the Keisei station and the JR station in the same place. The Keisei line is in blue and the JR is in green and red. If you don't have the JR Pass, you need to buy a ticket before getting on the Narita Express and you can buy it at the ticket counters or vending machines using cash or credit cards or even IC cards. If you don't know what an IC card is, I made a video explaining about IC cards in Japan and which one is the best IC card for you if you're just visiting Japan for a short period of time. So check it out in the description below this video. Anyway, if you don't want to use the vending machines, of course you can buy tickets at the ticket counters. 
JR ticket counters at Narita Airport open from 6.30 a.m. to 9.45 p.m. But bear in mind that there might be long lines at the ticket counters. If you want to avoid the lines at the ticket counters, or you arrive when the ticket counters are not open yet, use the ticket vending machines. It's very easy. Here's how. First, select English. Then, select the red option for seat reservation on Narita Express. Then, select the upper option to buy the Narita Express ticket only. Then, select your current station. Right now, I am at Narita Airport Terminal 1, so it's there by default. Then, select your destination in Tokyo. That's Tokyo Station for me. Select the number of tickets. You can buy multiple tickets at a time. Then select the departure time and type of tickets. Ordinary car is like standard, whereas green car is more expensive. The Narita Express allows you to select seat from a seat map. The one with the double green mark has more seats available. Then select any seat you like. After that, select the basic fare ticket. If you just want a one-way ticket, select purchase outbound ticket only. Check and confirm your ticket before paying. You can pay by credit card here, but for now I'm going to pay by cash. So there you go. This is a one-way ticket of the Narita Express, 3,070 yen. If you have the JR Pass, you don't need to buy a ticket for the Narita Express because it's already included in the JR Pass. In order to be able to use the JR Pass, you need to exchange your exchange order with the actual JR Pass at one of the JR Travel Service Centers. At the moment, they are open from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Narita Airport. Bear in mind that there might be very long line at these centers. Now that you have your ticket or JR Pass ready, let's get on the Narita Express. At the ticket gate, remember to get your ticket back because you're gonna need it to get out at your destination. After getting through the ticket gate, see which car you are in and follow the guidance to that car direction. This will save you a lot of time scrolling through the whole train because it's a very long train. In fact, two of the Narita Express trains are connected to each other and when they arrive at Tokyo Station, they will split and head to different directions one to Shinjuku Station and one to Yokohama Station. So make sure you sit in the right car. The platform is not far away from the ticket gate, but I would recommend getting to the platform at least 10 minutes before the departure time. There are waiting area with a lot of seats at the platform. One thing I really like about the Narita Express is that it is cleaned after the train arrived at the airport. This routine cleaning takes a few minutes. After that, you can board the train. When is the first and last Narita Express in a day? At the moment, the first Narita Express departing from Narita Airport Terminal 1 is after 7 a.m. and the last one is before 10 p.m. Are there any shops at the station? Yes, there are cafes, convenience stores and drug stores on the same floor as the train station. Only a few of them open 24 hours a day, including convenience stores, SIM card vending machines, ATMs, 
and money exchange machines. By the way, the exchange rate at these machines is quite good, which is understandable given the lower cost of operating and space renting. How about foods and drinks on the train? Foods and drinks are allowed on the train, but there's no vending machine on the train. So if you need to, you should get some snacks and drinks at the convenience store before getting on the train. You can eat at your seat. However, these days with the COVID-19, we eat quickly and quietly, what we call mokshoku in Japanese. Do they have toilets on the train? Yes, there are toilets located on green cars and car number one and number seven. There's also a wash basin area in the same place. Is Wi-Fi available on the train? There's Wi-Fi on the train and it's quite fast. I was able to watch YouTube videos on my phone. There are charging ports available at every seat by the armrest, which I found really convenient. What's the best seat on the Narita Express? I recommend getting the window seat on the right-hand side of the train if you want to have a view of Tokyo Skytree Tower. Leg space seems to be the same at all seats, and it's quite generous. If you want to, you can actually keep one of your luggages at your seat. There are also special spaces for large luggages at the front and back of the car. So if you put your luggages there and want to have an eye on them, then get a seat in the front or back of the car. For smaller luggages, you can use the overhead shelves. By the way, the luggage limit is basically two pieces per person, with each luggage up to 250 centimeters in size and 30 kg in weight. Ladies and gentlemen, we will soon make a brief stop at Tokyo Station, TYO. This train will stop at basement level 5. Are there discount tickets for the Narita Express? Yes, there's a two-way discount ticket, which is only 4,070 yen, more than 2,000 yen cheaper than buying a one-way ticket each time separately. But note that this ticket is only valid for two weeks' time. What's the alternative option to the Narita Express? Let's say if you have the JR Pass, of course, you want to use it for the Narita Express. But if it takes way too long to exchange for the actual JR Pass at the airport, another option is to take the bus to Tokyo Station and exchange for the JR Pass there. There's a Japan Rail Cafe right at the Tokyo Station bus stop where you can exchange for the actual JR Pass and it's usually not that crowded compared to the ones at the airport. Of course, you'll have to pay 1300 yen for the bus, which takes roughly 65 minutes from Narita Airport Terminal 1 to Tokyo Station. I hope you won't have to do this, but at least you know the available options. Well, I hope this video helped you know how to take the Narita Express from Narita Airport to Tokyo. As always, thank you so much for watching. I see you in my next video. Take care and have a nice day.